Hello class, this is lesson 8-6 in our textbook, and it's about how to identify special quadrilaterals. Now we've learned about all the specific types of quadrilaterals in this chapter. Um, so as you can see here, I have a variety of four-sided shapes. All the sides are straight. Um, so all of these would be considered a quadrilateral. But a lot of them we can break down into more specifics. So first of all, um, if I found that opposite sides were parallel to one another, I would call that a parallelogram. So for example, if I was going to draw some little markings to show that those two sides are parallel, seeing with those top sides with the bottom sides, that would be a parallelogram. Same with this green one. with the purple one. And with the orange one. So all four of these would be considered parallelograms. Okay, I also have some more specifics. Uh, for these two blue ones, we both know that they're both called trapezoids. And this is when we would see that um, they would only have one set of parallel lines. And furthermore, this pink shape at the top can be uh, classified as a kite, which means that it had two consecutive congruent sides and another two consecutive congruent sides. And that's what we would call a kite. Now, I also can break some of these shapes down even further. For example, those three, the green, the purple, and the orange, can be separated into either being called a rectangle or a rhombus. So let me move this up. <clears throat> For instance, both the green and the purple would be considered rectangles. The reason is because they have four right angles in each of those shapes. Whereas the purple and the orange would be considered a rhombus because every side is the same measurement. And furthermore, I can break those down and say that there could be a specific shape called a square, which is where all four angles are right angles and all four sides are congruent as well. So as you can see, there's all these different classifications of different shapes. Similarly, the trapezoid, there's one more specific trapezoid, which is the isosceles trapezoid. And that is where not only are the bases parallel to one another, but the legs are congruent to one another as well. So in this lesson, this is basically what we're going to be doing is taking all this knowledge of these different types of quadrilaterals and putting them together to determine, um, I guess, just a more specific way of classifying any quadrilateral. So I have three examples for us just to look at and then we're going to be done. And let's see if we can do it. Um, so we want to find the most specific name and not just call it quadrilateral if we can go even further. So I'm looking here and I have only measurements, no angles um, to give me any information from, but I can see that these are both 50 and these both measure to 51. So this would be a kite. Because the kite was where you had two pairs of consecutive congruent sides, which is what I have. For the second one, um, I'm just shown that the top and the bottom are both parallel, so that's um, kind of good. And also I'm told that these uh, diagonals I have some measurements for, and none of them are the same at all. So what this is going to be is it's just going to be a regular trapezoid. I don't have enough information to know that it is an isosceles trapezoid because it's not telling me that the legs are exactly the same. 
Um, also, since the diagonals are not bisecting one another, it's not a parallelogram. So I don't know that the outside um, segments are parallel to one another. So it's just going to be a trapezoid. This last one, it looks like it has a lot of specifics. Um, I'm told that the top and the bottom segments are congruent. Um, I also have two diagonal lines drawn, and for one of the diagonal lines, it's showing that um, the segment has been bisected but I'm not told about anything else regarding this other diagonal or the sides or any angles. So I really don't have any specifics. Um, so this is just going to be a quadrilateral. If I knew that this other line was bisected, then I could have gone a little bit further, um, but I don't. So it's just a quadrilateral. And this is the type of thing that we're going to be working on in class. So um, come with any questions that you have. We're just putting all of our information together now um, to close this chapter.